Hey, what's up? I'm Dylan from Stupid Raisins, and this is how to use Alpha Pop. You can find Alpha Pop in Final Cut Pro under the Titles browser. Just click on this button in the upper left corner to open it up, and then find the Alpha Pop category and click on it. And you'll see the Alpha Pop templates organized into themes. There's Slice, Slide, and Sticker. Each theme has the same templates. You've got different letter combinations, numbers, and punctuation. You can preview templates in the browser by hovering over them and scrolling with your mouse. Let's take a look at this one, sticker one letter. I'll drag and drop it to my timeline, and then I can click and drag this around just like any other clip. Let's put it over this girl right here. I can change the duration by clicking and dragging on the beginning or end to shorten it or make it longer, or I can click on the title and press Control D, and it brings up this little control here to change the duration. Just enter your new duration. Let's go for three seconds. We'll go three, zero, zero, and press enter, and then let's recenter it on this clip. You'll notice right away that Alpha Pop has on-screen controls in the templates. This outer ring changes the size this middle one changes the position, and then this stick with a ball changes the rotation. All right, with my title template selected, let's open up the inspector. You can do that by clicking on this button with three sliders, and then going to the title inspector, this box with a T in it. We can turn the in and out animations on and off so that the letter just shows up and then disappears without any animation. And then we can pick what letter we're going to display. Let's try S for stupid raisins. These controls are connected to the on-screen controls, so size is connected to this ring here and I can change it. Opacity makes it more see-through or opaque, and then position is tied to that middle on-screen control, and then rotation is tied to the ball and stick. I can also add some shear to the text to give it a different look. With this particular animation, there are a few different layers with different colors, and I can change those layers right here. And I can change those colors by clicking on these color pickers right here, and then assigning a new color. I'll do that for each one. We'll try this row of colors here see how that looks. Let's check it out. So they animate on and then animate off. The top color is going to be color number five. You can't change the font on these. If you go to the text inspector you have no options here. You can't change the font and that's because all these animations are highly customized for a very specific letter or number or punctuation mark and its shape. So you can't change the font but you can change the letters or the characters. Let's make a word. Let's play with this style called slide. I'll drag and drop it to my timeline, and we're gonna make it just a little bit shorter to match up with this clip. Here's what it looks like. These letters slide on, this is a really cool style. Let's turn this into raisins. First, I'm going to move it down here a little bit, and I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller. There we go, looks good. Let's open up the title inspector, and all I need to do is just go through and pick the different letters I want. So, let's write raisins, R, then we'll select A, and then we can change our colors. I want it to alternate with these three colors, so I'm just gonna click and drag this first one to color four, and then color two to color five. Let's take a look. Ah, oh, that looks fun. I love that style, so cool. Now to do a word that's longer than 10 characters, just use two templates and their number of characters will equal however long your word is. So if you have a 11 character word, you would use the 10 letter and one letter templates and you would stack them on top of each other in the timeline and then use the on-screen controls to put them right next to each other. Let's make something with two words. Let's go with six letters here. We'll add it to our timeline and let's make it smaller, move it down here. I wanna match it in size with the other one. That looks pretty good. Now let's turn this into stupid. So we'll go to the text inspector and add our letters. Now let's set our color. Let's go with this blue. I want it to match that previous one. And we can also change the color of the lines in this animation. So let's click on here and let's do this lighter purple. All right, now let's get these in the right position. I'll select my top clip and I'll move this over to the left and I'll select my bottom one and move it to the right. A little too big, so we'll make both of these just a little smaller. And then let's put it a little bit closer together. So this word stupid looks a little bit weird. The text spacing is a little bit off. And so we can adjust that using these letter position parameters in the text or title inspector. I want the P, the I, and the D a little closer together. I'll click and drag on this fifth letter to move it closer to the P. And then I'll do the same thing with the D. All right, that looks a little bit better. I can also adjust the width of these lines and their opacity. Let's take a look. 
that's pretty cool. We've got a cool looking title that has a unique animation and it doesn't take too long to build up. If you need some numbers or punctuation, we have those kind of templates for each of the themes. Just drag and drop it onto your template and then tweak it using the on-screen controls. Move it down here. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger. And in the inspector, I'm gonna change this to an exclamation mark and we'll just leave the colors as is for this demo. All right, so here we go, stupid raisins. Another cool thing you can do is stagger these layers so that the animations start a little bit later. So I'm gonna select the top two layers and I'm gonna press period to move them over one frame at a time. I'm gonna move them over about six, seven frames and then I'll unselect or deselect by holding down command and clicking on this middle layer and then move the punctuation even more. Now we have this kind of staggered animation. Pretty cool. So that's how to use Alpha Pop. If you have any questions, email me at raisinhater at stupidraisins.com. Happy editing.